guys, I'm happy. I'm happy. Why? Because I'm actually uploading on time. Um, this is the first upload I have of this series on the day that it came out. So I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> I'm glad I caught up and I have more catching up to do. And I'm going to be so relieved when everything is like where it has to be. So here we are watching the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting episode 8. In the previous episode, we met Masaya. <laughs> we met, you know, a middle school friend that has a lot of beef with Kirishima. Kirishima is actually responsible for the scar he has on his forehead. And we also learned about Sugihara, his personality, and also his past, you know, like how he ended up into the Yakuza and how he's actually like a follower of Kirishima in a way, to be honest. So let's get into it. The episode's called It's Been a While. And I'm looking at the cover and I think I see Aoi. I was literally talking to my friend about this. We're like, bro, we need to get more of him. Please. And then it looks like he's in this episode. I literally told her, I'm like, bro, please show us his Yakuza side. And if this episode does that, you heard me. Okay. <laughs> so let's get into it. Right? Uh, but Sara's gonna make a lot of friends, though. <laughs> See, she's gonna be like surrounded by other people. Who's this little kid? Are they following Sarah? Like literally I was talking about this, I was like, please, we need to see this man again. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> Where's the other kid? Probably like a, too young. <laughs> this kid said, yeah, go, let's go play. She wasn't asking. <laughs> She's so happy. calls him boss even though he doesn't like work for him anymore What other mode is there? He's serving the tea, OMG. Oh, yeah. Because she's pregnant, right? <laughs> Bro, the daughter looks so much like her. How old are they? He's 27 here. Eight years ago, he was 27. Wait, they told us. Did they show us his age now? This is eight years ago, he was 27. No way in heck are you trying to tell me homeboy is 35 right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say like a cat. Oh God, he was 37. He's 
You need to wake up and come back to your man. Look at him, he's so cute. What's different about him right now? I feel like there's like a significant difference because he doesn't look exactly like this. Is it because he they made him look younger? His hair is the same, right? It's because he looks younger. Because he looks younger, I guess. The hair is the same, right? She takes after him. Her too, though. But the looks for sure her. Look at them, they're flirting so hard. <laughs> Look at them showing us how that baby was made. Oh my god, she needs to come back. I can't. I love her. <laughs> yeah, his hair is a little different. Okay. When we we be like that. Women be like that. All these piercings. Sorry, what? Right. right? Oh my god. If someone can make a family out of not family. You know what I mean? Oh god. <laughs> Like when y'all are not blood, but then you're able to still create a strong connection as deep as blood, like I can. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, his hair was so sick back then. I'm not over it. Bro, he looks like he could throw that so that little knife. <gasps> Oh, so he, he was gonna throw it at him? He protected him? Does she have a fear of blood or is she just scared for him? She's hyperventilating. That's like a panic attack. Is it because of the blood? Like, does she have... Some people have issues seeing blood. Like, is it that or... A little thing worried her. Okay. So she was just uh, very sensitive. Oh my god. Look at Sorry. Right. He didn't want to keep worrying her. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
そんな幸せのため自分の不安を隠してきたんだな No shit! I'd be scared deathless too! I'd be scared to death! And you know what's funny? It makes sense that he kept his distance after that because otherwise things would come up and he'd want to do everything he can to help. And if he's around too much, he's still gonna wanna like do what he can because he can't avoid the things happening around him while he's there, while he's hearing things. So that would be too much. So it makes complete sense that he keeps his distance, to be honest. <laughs> Bro, his look! I'm not over his look when he was 20, bro! Kirishima needs to. That's true. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, for me, Aoi, like, Loki looks younger now. <laughs> I ship it for the future. I'm sorry. <laughs> he gets that a lot. <laughs> Oh, for real? That she existed? Yeah,よかったらまた変な格好で寝てる。もう助けてください。はい。あ、いや、でもたまには悪くないなって思いました。ああ。待っててね。あ、はい。You was playing with the icon and she was that tiny. That's so cute. Being like a great dad. <laughs> Even giving advice. This leave it. Oh! We know who the chocolate one's for. So much. Oh, oh, when they were, oh, when he left, yes, when he left the family. <laughs> I'm like triggered. Like, literally, Aoi and Sugihara are whole crushes in this show. Like, I can't.
俺も食いたくなったんだなんかごまかされた感じごまかしてねえよ<laughs> you are when y'all are having fights, apparently. <laughs> Yo, I literally just want to die like right now. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happens if he meets Sarah. Because Sarah is going to be very. <laughs> Does she mind not engaging with people in class? Who is this cute child? <laughs> yes! I feel like, oh my god, I feel like they will have, like, at school, anyways, they'll get along very well. Yo, can this show not? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is everything. She's gonna come back from school. Oh my god! Okay, this is like in the opening where he like sits by the water, the river, and he lets her walk with the friends, as long as he's watching her. Yo, anyone would see this and call the cops. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's close enough, so probably not, but it feels further to like not be in their way, and I saw this shit. Oh, I'm dialing. I'm dialing. <laughs> Oh, that was so good! That was adorable! That was adorable! I am in love with Aoi all over again. <sighs> the Kirishima plan. The Kirishima something plan. So look, there's not much to discuss on the matter, but fair enough. It's completely understandable why he left the family. I am sad about it though, because that is very much his family. It became his family. Um, so I'm sad that he can't visit them at least more often because it almost seems as if he hasn't visited them literally since he left them, which is way too long. <laughs> so he should have visited them a few times at once a month or something. But it seems, it honestly seems well and good. It doesn't even seem like a sad parting. It seems like they'll always have each other's back, even if they're like distant. And um, they'll always be family, like always. Like I don't think that changes at all. And he has an adorable family, and he seems like a great husband, honestly. And I'm sure, yeah, clearly they have their fights, like, duh. But it seems like they have the maturity to make up. And yeah, they keep going by like that. It's so cute. This is goals. Goals. Okay, guys, goals. And I love how they keep giving us bits and pieces of the past, whether it be about different characters. While they do that, they give us bits and pieces of Kirishima's past as well. So I feel like we're like slowly unraveling all of that. Um, and I can't wait for certain events to occur, such as the mom coming back. That will happen. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> and learning more about Kirishima's past as well, when he was younger, when he lost his mom, when his personality shifted, etc. Um, so yeah, great episode. I really, really enjoyed that. It was so dang wholesome. Ah! Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Leave how you feel down below in the comments. No spoilers. And I'll see y'all again in my next video. So thank you and bye.